Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I only wanted to start here. Oh. Because we can all appreciate the glory of the Berserk Pack. Did he put up his arms in a defensive posture as I did that? Huh. Almost enough to... Make me feel, uh, bad for them. And then I remember what happened to the OG Doom Guy's bunny. Oh, ahem. Thank you for waiting. You are now sued. Nope. It's funny to me that they're playing the hardcore music in this level, but all of the enemies are possessed imps and, uh, possessed soldiers. Oh, dear. So I hit that guy with a grenade, and he just falls off of the wall, and I shoot that guy once with a standard shotgun, and he turns into confetti. Where am I, anyway? I guess I'm not really anywhere near the, uh... Oh, no, I guess I'm getting closer. I just don't know how to climb up that far. The railings? It is the goddamn railings. Oh. No, no, down from here. Who is shooting at me? Why is the frame rate going nuts? You know, I gotta say, I'm actually just a little bit disappointed that, uh, it never... One of these never had a monster pop out of it, like a jack-in-the-box. Because I was anticipating that for the entire game. Like the, uh... The ladder scene from Fear 1. Oh, fuck, it's the one. It's the one! That's the ordinary-ass vanilla Doom guy. The one that doesn't look like the classic suit, the one that looks like this suit. You know what that means, Burning Dog fans. That means there is a chance that this might be the one I was waiting for. Oh, please. <gasps> Doom Marine Model! Doom Guy! Hell yes! Well, I have my thumbnail. I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. I don't know how it didn't work out that he was a robot so much sooner. Oh. I wonder why it doesn't just play the animation on whatever the first one you find is. I mean, I get it. You know, that's the one that looks like him, so he's giving a little fist bump. But I mean, I didn't find that one. And I saw comments from people who seemed to think that it was supposed to happen with the one in the very first level. You know, classic guy. Hmm. Okay, let me see.
hell yes. I don't know that I've ever actually seen the back before. I like the pouches. I'm not sure how you reach those in the middle of a fight, though. Look at how thick these boots are with armor and stuff. I'm a chonky boy. You can just barely make out human facial features back there. So at least I know we're not building towards a... Uh, twist in Doom Eternal where he takes his helmet off and it's like Cthulhu underneath or something. What else we got in here? I am going to miss Victor. I've seen a little uh, thing in Doom Eternal that suggests to me that they took out the Goss cannon and replaced it with what appears... I haven't actually seen it in gameplay yet, but I mean, I'm looking at the description, it's like, this ballista weapon is very clearly the, uh, the Goss cannon. Even shoots energy instead of, say, ballista bolts. Eh, yeah, screw it. I'll just say that Victor got a, fa uh, uh, a makeover. That's what I just clicked on. I wonder why they decided to make an alternate Mancubus. Like, legit, I don't know why they did that. As opposed, as opposed to any of the others, I mean. You know, where's the Cyber Imp? Who has a gun at his leg like Robocop or something. <laughs> funny engravings on it anywhere. Oh well. Enough faffing around. Uh, just a moment. Okay, sorry about that, Burning Dog fans. Let me see the full list. Do I go with Hangar first? Do I go with Nuclear Plant? You know there's a secret in, uh, in Hangar that I've never actually been able to figure out. I've seen my brothers do it, but I don't remember how they triggered it. Again, mostly the time when I played Doom back in the day, get through it, says my laws and Drapper. Uh, most of the time back in the day, I just run around with the BFG in my hands. As... Oh no, that's right, the shareware version only went up to the, uh, the rocket launcher. So I guess it would be more accurate to say that, uh... Yeah. When we had the shareware version... I ran around with the rocket launcher, just blowing it up in everyone's faces. And when we got the full version, the BFG! Let me see... Let's try this Underhauls level. I think that was the second level of Doom 2. Maybe I'll find a super shotgun. And then I can bring it to the other levels, I don't know. Where are... What? But I had the... my chain gun! Why do I have the... why did it let me keep the rocket launcher? Why is... oh god, maximum 100 health. Right? Mmm! <clears throat> no longer alive, that's you. MIDI music. I think it was higher pitch than this back in the day. Although there was variability between computers. Oh! Again, these guys are way more dangerous than the uh, former humans back in the day. I don't mean to harp on that fact. I'm just saying! They didn't exactly have a charge attack that could knock you on your ass. That anything? Thank 
you. Nope, need the red key for that. I guess technically they just made like a dozen red key doors and then made them exceptionally thin in the models. So. Oh. And I don't have my upgrades. Great. At least they still fucking drop health when they die like that. Fuck this. Excuse me, I need to step on your friend's face and kill him. There we go. Unstoppable! Thinking about total conversion mods back in the day. You could basically turn Doom into a totally different game using mods and the devs are okay with it. Oh, I do have the double jump at least, that's nice. Oh, God! Oh, it's, uh... I don't know why I didn't grab that when I jumped up there. Great. And no chainsaw, really? Oh, my God, it's because I didn't... God damn it, I just got that. It let me keep the levels, the, the guns that I found in Doom, oh fuck, in the Doom 1 classic maps, when I was playing the Doom 1 classic maps. But this is a Doom 2 classic map, so all I got is the p <laughs> shit. Nope. Now these guys are so much more dangerous than they used to be. I'm a dead man. Get out of the dead end, oh god! Ah, oh, yes, well. No! Yes, die! Die! <sighs> I just wanted to make sure. That's why I'm still standing here. What is with this mall music all of a sudden? No, I'm gonna leave that, because I only have 100 max health. Huh. Get that one, though. What's in here? Did I open this one? No. Ah, oh, God! No. You know what? Maybe they can just handle themselves. No! Alright, here goes. I may have been done that one on purpose. Oops. I'll take that, thanks. If an enemy has a head, it's a weak spot. That was a loading screen I got today. Good to see you, Kelly. Hmm. 
and that will make them pay. I can tell by the color of the reticle that uh, I do not have the one shot at a time upgrade, but that is okay. Good to see you too, Miss Sister Mary. Strange to me that there are only two classic levels from Doom 2. No, nothing good is happening in here. Oh. I could hear the clang of my gauntlet against the wall. Yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Doom levels were, like, way more intricate and tightly wound than, uh, a lot of games. Dang it, I was showing off. I wanted to get that guy without moving, and... Nope, 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 that didn't work. I'll just, I'll just wait. All right, Kelly, you just gank the next guy who comes around the corner. How the hell did you shoot... They are not coming around the corner because they are smarter than that, because it is 2016 and not 1993. Oh, damn it. My organs. Shit. No option to... Balls. Actually, you know what? There's like five minutes left on the thing. I bet I can beat uh, the hangar level, at least. Maybe I'll go through them in order next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I have no weapons. Great. John Romero giveth, and he taketh away. I could totally just jump out this window. I always wanted to jump out this window, but I don't think it goes anywhere. <laughs> oh, invisible wall. Well done. And there's a switch back here. I don't remember what it does. Oh! I should mention, you could run hella fast in Doom 1. I swear one of these walls opens up, too. Hi there! I'm shooting you! I know it seems stupid these days, but... Oh. But this track was, like, legit awesome back in the day. I was aiming for his other leg this time, for the record. Ah! Not the one I was kicking the crap out of. Fuck! That one owed me money or something. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to have the same old, uh, sprite explosion. There is... there are supposed to be shotgun guys around. Just fucking die. See? Shotgun shells. Oh.
Oh, down the middle of the door. Like that guy with a shotgun from level one. Oh, right, pistol ammo. I don't need any. Here's the exit room. What was it? So... There is a way to make... Oh, shit! I guess it was just a floor trigger, then. Hello, Sister Mary. Eh. Timer. Called it, though! Made it! I usually played on Ultra Violence, to be honest, because, again, God Mode. It didn't work on Nightmare Mode, you see. And without any fanfare, that's E1M1, folks. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Doom. I'm not here. Okay, so the models aren't loading properly right now, but that's okay. Just imagine this, but in much higher uh, detail. <laughs> There's still more uh, classic maps to go through, and I have not yet decided what to do with the runes and the figurines. But that can be figured out next time. See you next time, Burning Dog fans. Until it's done.